Hey everybody, and welcome to Pro Photo Tips Question of the Week. My name is Josh Cripps, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. This week, Ryan Stikeleather writes to us, Hello Mr. Cripps, hello Mr. Stikeleather. Thank you for all the effort you put into your tutorials and YouTube videos, it's been a huge help to me. Do you have any go-to sources that help determine when and where you might find great light? I'm trying to maximize my potential for great photography since I only get out about one day every other week. That's a pretty small target to hit, especially when it seems like I missed the perfect sunrise or sunset by one day. Oh look, a perfect sunset. Sure wish I knew that was going to happen today if only I had visited X website. I don't know, maybe I've already answered my question. Get out more. You're super welcome, Ryan. Thanks for all the support. So this is a great question because in all of nature photography, light is the one major thing that we can't control. But with a little knowledge, you can be better prepared to capture that great light. First off, you're absolutely right that the best way to increase your chances at getting a good photo is simply to shoot more. I mean, you know that old no fear slogan that was like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take? Well, that is totally true in photography. So get out more and you're likely gonna get better results. Now, that being said, you can improve your chances for getting good light in a couple of ways. First off, every photographer should know about the magic hour around sunrise and sunset when a lot of times you get the nicest, most flattering light of the day. So if you target your photography to those times, you're already gonna be better prepared. Also, good light often occurs in the unsettled weather around the edges of storms. So if you can target your photography to when a storm is rolling in or when a storm is rolling out, you're likely gonna get more interesting results than you would otherwise. In terms of websites to visit, you should obviously always be checking the weather forecast to see when you've got partially cloudy days, mostly cloudy days, or breaks in the weather coming up. But to get back more to your original point, there are a couple of services that try to predict when and where you're actually gonna see good light. The two that I know of are called Skyfire and Escape. Skyfire is embedded in the photographer's ephemeris app, whereas Escape is its own standalone service. That being said, I haven't used either of those services enough to know how accurate or reliable they are. Finally, the best piece of advice I can give you in this situation is to completely get rid of your expectations for capturing what you think of as amazing light. If you go out and you're always searching for those epic sunrises and sunsets that we love to see, those are so rare that you're gonna be disappointed, especially if you can only get out every so often, once every couple of weeks. So instead, if you let the scene speak to you when you go out, then regardless of the weather conditions, I can almost guarantee you're gonna find something interesting worth shooting. Thanks a ton for the great question. If you would like to have your question featured here on YouTube, you can submit it here. And for free photo tips, recommended gear, inspirational photos, and more, be sure to check out the Pro Photo Tips newsletter. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.